What's going on guys? Coach Mandler here, Team Swole Patrol. Just got back from a nice two-week vacation, enjoying the fun and sun with some family and friends, and uh, trying to do that before I get snowed in for the better part of four to five months up here in Indianapolis and fall into that endless cycle of eating, training, and watching reruns of Seinfeld and Parks and Recreation. But um, anyway, one of the things I want to talk about is during the past two weeks, haven't really trained, all right? Just gave my body a chance to revitalize, recuperate, and recover from the pounding that I put on it for the past you know, four to five months with the intense training cycle that I was going through. And one of the things I want to remind you of is if you do come off of a brief hiatus or a long-term hiatus from your daily training routine, the last thing you want to do is go in there and hit the ground running by going balls deep and balls to the wall, all right? That's only going to slow, you know, slow your progress down and it's going to overwhelm your, your body and overall your nervous system. So the last thing you want to do is go in there 100 miles per hour and try to lift the whole weight room and go balls to the wall. Just don't want to do that. It's going to overwhelm you. It's going to make you too sore and it's not going to allow you to get back in there the next day or the day after that to get back on track. What I would do instead is focus on building back that muscular endurance, all right? That GPP that will give you that work capacity to handle the heavier loads and heavier volume that um, your body relies on to make the adaptations you're looking for in order to get that jack, dense, ripped, strong, and explosive ass-kicking body that you want. So, uh, what I did for you is just filmed a quick routine. This is what I did today, quick five, uh, five rounds of it. And uh, you'll notice it's not anything that's that overwhelming. It's more than anything just going to focus on simple movement patterns that are not going to overwhelm my body, but more so just help build that muscular endurance that I need to get back into the swing of things. Okay, so we got five rounds of a bench press at 60% for 10 reps, followed by 10 reps each of push-ups and pull-ups. And real quick, just want to expand on this. One of the big reasons I don't go right back in the gym and focus on building maximal strength for, for uh, bench, squat, or deadlift is that with, with a good week or two, you're going to make neural adaptations and regain a lot of the strength that you might have lost you know, from your, uh, your hiatus from the gym. So um, I think the best way to do it is to kind of ease back in with a little bit of muscular endurance GPP work like you're gonna see here. Another thing, if you're going to build these circuits for yourself, got two real quick pointers for you. Number one, whichever exercise you choose, make sure they're ones that will strengthen your weak points that show up in your core lifts. And two, make sure the first exercise in every one of the circuits is the most physically demanding one. Hey dude, if you're like me, you absolutely love free shit. If it's free, it's for me, right? But um, anyway, hey, if you enjoyed the routine that you saw in this video, if you're trying to get back into the swing of things and, and want to do it very seamlessly and smoothly without just beating yourself up, but also want to get that kind of shredded, ripped up, and, and functional body that looks good while kicking ass, and do yourself a favor. Click on this box right here and enter your email in the box provided once you go there. When you do that, I'm going to immediately email you my top five express routines designed to get you that jacked dense and ripped physique that you're looking for completely free of charge. Like I said, just click on that, enter your email address, and I'll immediately email them to you completely free. Appreciate your time, guys. Have a good one. Mandler.